and scroll down to timeline, make sure it's got a little check mark next to it and you should see this thing down in the bottom of your Photoshop window. When you're ready to start making the animation, I mean, like I said, I just opened sequential PNGs. This one is called, um, whatever I named it, uh, number one PNG. So I've got this setting here. you got two choices. One is video timeline, which is great for like little video clips and stuff like that. Um, or what we're doing today, which is create frame animation. Because create frame animation is what I do um, most often on a daily basis, mine is set by default to frame animation. So once you set it to frame animation, you just click. It adds in the first frame of what you've got in there. I need to add all my other PNGs. So I'm going to choose place embedded. I think I'm going to go backwards this time. Um, everything is in my animation folder. Let me see if I can close the window. Hey, okay. I can just select these. Uh, they're in sequential order. And for each one, I will choose place. I will either hit the check mark or double click in here to set the image. I'm going to keep doing that and adding those in there sequentially until I've got all of them in there. Just keep going back to file, place embedded. I choose embedded over linked because linked is dependent on Photoshop knowing where to find this on my computer or on my hard drive or on a flash drive. And since I open these things all over the place and I may not have all the files with me or may not have my flash drive with me or have access to all the things I have uh, when I'm working right here, um, I just choose place embedded every time. Okay, so we're, we've lost count. Three, four, we're up to four. Set it in place. And the last one, place embedded. So embedded is what it sounds like. It'll embed it into your file. Um, it makes for maybe a slightly larger file, uh, but it's not such a big difference that, you know, it would make a mess. Okay, once all those are in there as layers, over here in the upper right-hand corner of the timeline, there's this little sandwich menu. If I click on it, can I move it up? Ooh, there's a thing down here that says make frames from layers. I can't, can't, why? Well, we'll make it, we'll make it behave. If all else fails, make it behave. Okay, so here it is. Make frames from layers. It will add all the layers into my timeline. I'm going to just move that down so you can see what I'm doing. So now I have all these things in here. They're all set to zero seconds. Uh, my looping options are set to forever because it's the way I like it. Uh, looping it once wouldn't really do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift select all of these and change the timing to, I don't know, 0.2. Test it. Okay. Uh, I'm also going to change, since I want the groundhog to start out like he's coming out of the ground, I'm going to put these in reverse order. Or whatever order I think looks good. Um, I'm also going to either duplicate or option click and drag because I want it to look like he's going back. Okay, and then I'm going to play it again. So I want it to look like he's going up and down. I'm going to leave that one the way it is. I don't need two of those. So if I'm happy with that and happy with the motion and uh, the frame timing setting, I can save it as a GIF by going to Export, Save for Web Legacy, which opens up the Save for Web panel. Once the save for web panel opens up, I want to make sure that 
this is set to GIF. The default is JPEG. So if it says JPEG, just change it to GIF. GIF is the top choice because it starts with G and G comes before J. My image size is absolutely huge because these were from an Illustrator file. Even though I made the Illustrator file 800 by 800 pixels, so I'm going to knock this down to 800. I have this set so that it constrains proportions. Because I'm also in the GIF setting here, I have an animation looping option again here. I'm going to double check and make sure that that is set to forever. If I'm happy with the settings the way they are, I'm going to click Save and save this into my animation folder. Okay, I already have one in there, so I'm basically just replacing it. So now, if I want to test this thing, I can open up any web browser. I'm going to test the actual GIF file. by opening up my web browser and going to open file, selecting my GIF, going to open. And that is the way you test an animated GIF. That is the way you use timeline in Photoshop. Hope this works for you.